gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Irrit, 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 and Dita! That's what we're drinking. Uh, this so is a tell beer me from Eritita. <laughs> Eritita. Uh, because it's got the little ha ha on it. Uh, <laughs> there are five basic elements, and this is uh, brewed with all Australian hops out of uh, you know, Australia. Australia. Uh, it's Galaxy. <laughs> You know, one of our favorite hops in the, the world, Galaxy right? Of Australia. Oh, indeed. Um, so yeah, this is uh, ingredients: water, barley, Galaxy hops, and yeast. Uh, it says five basic elements is the name chosen for our double India Pale Ale, Ooh. brewed and dry hopped exclusively with Galaxy hops from Australia. The five basic elements are earth, water, fire, air, and space. Avatar. Each play a critical role in our ability to alchemize raw materials into our beer. They're fucking Skate. alchemizing. Holy shit. Okay. Our existence on Earth, the creation of our galaxy, and the genesis of our entire universe. I feel like I just played Mass Effect. My God. Uh, canned on 8-28-23. Time of filming. Job, 19, but two and a half months old. Yeah. Uh, Eredita is the Italian translation of the word legacy, Ooh. coming from an Italian American family. Yada yada yada. Uh, it says that brewed and packaged by Twelve Percent North Haven, Connecticut for Adida. So Twelve Percent, but they are in Connecticut. To say Nothing wrong with that. Well, contract brewing. Uh, Marlo did that for a long time. Oh, okay, like Marlo, okay. So, yeah, uh, had a chance to meet these guys at that Real Beer Expo we went to. Okay. Um, they got their beer into AJ's, which is where I picked this up. AJ's Beer Warehouse? Oh, AJ's Beer Warehouse. Henrietta House. Henry giving us the good brews. Um, I've had this. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's it's a really nice double-looking hazy with a nice rocky kind of foamy head yeah. on it. Swirls up real nice, as we are wont to so do. So you've had this before, right? I have. I've had I a did few not. of their beers. I did, even at the expo, I didn't. like. There were so many breweries. I, I feel like at a certain point, we ventured off on our own path. Oh, my do. gosh. And like, we drank so much beer. It's like, yeah. I barely remember. It's like we I own. Had. We each had their own, our own destinies. <laughs> uh, my destiny <laughs> ended true. up pouring beers <laughs> for beer Copper Leaf. Copper Leaf. Like, yeah. Everyone's like, where'd Dan go? I'm like, down there for an hour pouring beer. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it wasn't mess. even an hour. Just like in my drunken mind, it was an hour. But it was like 20 minutes. The excitement overtook us big time. Yeah. Sorry to anyone that interacted with us in a state of... Yeah. We yeah. apologize. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that guy from Irredeemer did. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Hey. So, okay. Dan and I like single hop beers. We love seeing hops showcased from good breweries, especially when it's hop we enjoy, such as Galaxy. Anything on New Zealand or Australia? <sighs> love them. Galaxy? I'm gonna tell you right now, I am getting that pungent pineapple. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's pungent. It's not so. <sighs> it's like when I say pungent, I mean it's pungent because it's like dank and just like yeah. Because I was gonna say mine's just dirty, just filthy pineapple. Oh, this is so listen. Sad. This is pi <laughs> hey, listen. You know what this is? This is pineapple stripping on a pole. Alrighty Just then. Get me dollar bills. I'll throw it at it all day, baby. Let's dive in, Dan. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> There's glitter. There's glitter in my beer. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. Dude, wow. Tell, tell me about it. I've had this. No, because that's a crazy. Like that's a. That's a 360 from the smell. Yes. I got, there is a massive amount of just herbal bitterness to this mm -hmm. that I was not expecting. Because I, I was getting that dank kind of thing and that filthy and like stripper on a pole fucking pineapple. Mm -hmm. But like as soon as I drank it, I was like, holy crap, you still get this? And there's like this really like delicate sweetness. On the forefront, but then it just evolves into this crazy, just herbal, medicinal kind of bitterness. So, when I first had the beer, wow, my first reaction dry. was, I haven't had a single hop Galaxy beer like this before. Like, it, it was like, I don't remember tasting Galaxy in this light, because... Going back to it, the nose, you get that dank, dirty, filthy pineapple, it's there... And I thought the, as soon as it hit my tongue, it just exploded into this like fireworks display of stripper glitter, fruit, dirty, filthy, 
just ripped right from the ground juice. Like, I think it's very impactful. As you were talking, mm -hmm. I'm sitting there just living off the aftertaste rent free. Yeah. And it's, I'm still getting that, really, there's this, uh, coupled with the pineapple, there's just, just overall just like kind of melony tropical thing going on. But it, it's, it's on like the forefront of my tongue, like right here. This is my tongue, it stops right here. Mm -hmm. So it's like fruit, tropical, pineapple, dirty. And right here is just like, just like overall, just like drying, uh, floral bitterness and just like sucking up that saliva. So you're still oh, yeah. manufacturing in the front, if that makes sense, because of oh, all yeah, the fruit, yeah. but then it gets sucked away. It, it's and almost you like- You wanted another sip. Yeah, it, for me, that back half of the pellet, like on your tongue, it's almost like a large flower petal is just resting on it yeah. and just drying and sucking all the juice out of you. It's almost an abusive dryness. But... I think what brings it all together, there is a, uh, that sweetness, I don't think it's strictly, it's the malt character. It, okay. It, the, there is a very sweet malt character. Yeah, okay. It. And I think that really plays a crucial role in balancing this thing out because yep. fruity pop, dry, give me that sweet malt character to kind of be the referee in between the two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it, it's overall it's, pretty damn, and then we're two and a half months in. I would yeah, love to and this, this thing is fresh. still just Now, like was this thing different at the... Beer Expo. Because like, I imagine it was, like, it was super fresh, tapped. Was it any different that you remember? Who can say? Okay. I, I was into it. You almost seemed pissed I even asked sheets, you that. Sheets were to the wind, and I was just sailing along. <laughs> like, you're looking at me like, I'm your kid and I failed fourth grade. We just had a conversation of, like, we did a lot of things. Uh, none of it remembered. You're like, hey, what do you remember about being there? I'm like, I remember... Being annoying as shit to the poor guy because I'm like, you guys got to do something with Motowaka. <laughs> that's, that's all I remember. But then I saw the picture. I was like, oh yeah, those guys. I'm gonna buy their beer. God, <laughs> some relationships are still fractured. <laughs> <They're not laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Um, uh, but uh, we're sorry, bro. Uh, 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 AJ's has. <laughs> we are sorry. Uh, we AJ's has gotten some Iridita, and I've gone up there. I've picked up everything they've gotten so far, and I've enjoyed it very much. But this one really sets itself apart. And a little nugget of information, a little fun fact, a little side piece action. Uh, the Barn Owl Stout. <laughs> Get you some of that, yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, we would have reviewed it, but we drank it all. Um, it was that damn good. So, yeah, anyways, uh, I'll give this a Four, three. I'm right there with you. I was going to give it a four, three as well. Four, three out of five for the people that don't watch our videos ever. Yes. Uh, Great offering uh, from your Adidas. For a two and a half month old IPA, by the way. Four, three. I don't know if that can be overstated enough. For a two and a half month old IPA, this thing is so just. I, what I like IPA. about it, it's not your everyday hazy. It, it's different. Yep. It, it, yep. It, it's the hazy with bitterness it's not a shame to come with the bitterness it's Showcase it's not scared big time. it's just it's it's challenging you to get with old school ipa vibes and oh, say yeah. this is what ipa used yeah. to be kids uh mm -hmm. you know <laughs> so yeah uh all right down description below all the link trees and stuff we'll go ahead and get out of here yeah you've been with us far long enough or if you just fast forwarded <sighs> welcome to the future all right cheers cheers <laughs>